Good evening, everybody. It's Shannon Chafin with more model drawing. Thank you for joining me tonight. I uh, hope everybody had a great day. Um, let's start by just reviewing a little bit about what we talked about last night. Um, model drawing is a strategy used when children are trying to solve word problems and they need to pick out the operation that they need to do and the number of steps or what kind of steps that they need to do in order to solve the problem. So last night we started off um, by talking about what, um, what steps we're going to take. Um, we talked about uh, reading the entire problem. That's the first most important thing that they need to do. They then need to underline the question. They write this, um, a statement. Um, I'm sorry, they write a statement from the question and then they determine the number of bars and they draw it. And then they have to label the bars, put the question mark for that piece of information that they're trying to solve for and then they solve the problem and then the, at the very end they revisit the statement. So um, last night we started working on two one-step problems um, that, that, that are pretty basic and it talks about having the two parts in a whole and we completed an addition and a subtraction problem um, and we went, we went through each one of the steps. So today, I want to go a little bit further with this. I have two more word problems. They're one-step problems, and one is a multiplication, and one is a division problem. And then after that, um, maybe tomorrow we could look at um, maybe some two-step problems. So today, let's put this one up. All right, so we've got story problem number three. And the first step is read the entire problem. Miss Peggy has six bags of oranges. There are five oranges in each bag. How many oranges? does Miss Peggy have in all? So step number two, step number two, it says underline the question. So we're going to underline the question right here. How many oranges does Miss Peggy have in all? Okay, step number three is we've got to write the question as a statement. So, um, how many oranges does Miss Peggy have in all? We're going to say, Miss Peggy has blank oranges. And this makes sure that when we're all done, that we've actually answered what we were looking for. And because sometimes we, we get so caught up in our steps that we forget what we're actually trying to solve for. Okay, so our next step is determine the number of bars and draw. So we need to look at our question a little bit here um, and, and the story problem. And we've, we've got to decide, what do we know? We know that Miss Peggy had six bags, okay? And we know that Miss Peggy had five oranges in each bag. And we're looking for the total. So we already have two parts and we're looking for a total. So that tells me that we're going to use one bar. Okay, so there's our bar. Okay, we know we're looking for the total, so our question 
point is going to go right there. How many parts do we have in our question? We're going to have six parts because we have six bags. So we're going to draw six boxes in our bar model. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, do you remember from last night? What does each rectangle, what does it represent? It represents a quantity. So if we know that the quantity in this represents one piece, what goes in the box? Five. So we're going to put five for each bag in, this, in the box. And that is for the oranges. So there should be a five in each box. The five represents the oranges, the number of oranges, and each box stands for a bag. Okay, so when we step back and look at this, we know that we have six parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, and in each part or in each group, we have five. So our equation would be, what do you think? Our equation would be six times five equals what? 30. It would equal 30 oranges. So then we have got to come back and do our final step, revisit our statement that we wrote. Miss Peggy has 30 oranges. And I like to go back and just read my question again, just to make sure how many oranges does Miss Peggy have in all? Miss Peggy has 30 oranges. Okay, so this would be an example of a one step multiplication problem. Okay, all right, um, let's take a look at one more. This is story problem number four, and Mr. Bob has 24 frosted chocolate frosted donuts on a plate. Underline that, that's important for us to know. Chocolate frosted donuts on a plate. If he shared them equally among six students, how many chocolate frosted donuts would each student receive? Okay, so we've read our problem. Now we need to underline the question. And that is, how many chocolate frosted donuts will each student receive? All right. Let's rewrite our question as a statement. Okay. Each student will receive The length donuts. Okay. And this is what we're trying to solve for. How many each student will receive. Okay. So I know that this is a one-step problem. I know that I have the total number of donuts. I know that he wants to split them between six students and he wants to find out how many each student will receive. So that tells me I'm going to have one bar. Okay, so let's draw that bar. I'm going to use a different color so it'll stand out because I'm running out of room. Okay, so So here 
is my bar and my unit is donuts okay we're trying to figure out how much how many donuts each student will receive and i know that we have a total of 24 donuts so we put that over there and i know that he wants to split them between six students so again in my bar i need to create six boxes Okay, so each box would stand for a student, and inside the box, this, is, this would be student one, this would be student two, student three, student four, student five, student six. Inside the box is how many donuts each student should receive. So, I don't know. So that's where my question mark is going to go. Okay. So when I have a total and I have groups and I'm trying to figure out how many are in each group, that tells me that I am going to divide. So it's time to write our equation. We're going to put 24 divided by six equals how many donuts each student will get we will each get four donuts apiece so let me go back to my statement each student will receive four donuts okay so tonight we've looked at uh, two more one step word problems. We did a multiplication and we did a division as well. All right, that about wraps it up for tonight. See you tomorrow night. We'll be looking at some two-step problems tomorrow. Good night, everybody.